During the Cretaceous, sea level began to rise, slowly flooding the interior of North America. In time, the Arctic Ocean joined the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, creating a shallow inland sea that split the continent in two. On the southwestern shore of the sea, cool summer breezes and warm winter rain nurtured the seeds of a different kind of forest. For the first time, ancient stands of conifers and palms were joined by broadleaf trees like sycamores, magnolias, and poplars, along with a new crop of dinosaurs that had never been seen before. This is Zuniceratops, the first dinosaur with horns and frills to appear in North America. Although they're small now, about the size of a cow, in a few million years, their descendants will be four times as big. Until then, these docile plant eaters need protection. Where a herd of Zuniceratops goes, danger can't be far away. Lurking about are predators, and now they're more cunning than ever. Salurosaurs are too little to be a threat to Zuniceratops. But nearby, what looks like a flock of weird birds is actually a band of dromaeosaurs already lunching on a carcass. The odor of a fresh pill lures an uninvited guest. The intruder is a loner out for a free meal. <laughs> the carcass is carefully guarded, and the leader of the pack, the alpha male, is in no mood to share. Outnumbered three to one, the intruder knows when to quit. <laughs> 